Hello and welcome to Web Learning where knowledge is shared. In today's video I'll show you a new idea that I have on building jig for a PCB stencil. I designed a new PCB for the Quick Charge. Uh, this is a Quick Charge 3 and it's a smaller PCB. I'll share the design um, also. I decided to build a jig for this stencil because as you can see the stencil is huge and the PCB is very small and I don't need all this space so I came up uh, with this design this is the second version the first uh, version is this one and uh, you can see it opens and closes and it also fits uh, right into the small box of uh, JL JLC PCB the way it works is that um, it you print it uh, as a three piece part or a two piece part because those two are one piece and the printer prints them together and this is the third piece and the way it works is the PCB sits here then there is this part that holds the PCB in place and doesn't move and it's flushed with a PCB uh, height then the stencil comes here and then this closes down and bolts with M3 bolts so it doesn't move and the way I need to cut this the stencil is just a, just a little bit smaller than the actual where the holes are so I can move it around and place it exactly um, so the stencil will be right in line and then if you open it up because of the M3 bolt the stencil will lift up and you can just freely move the PCB in and out. This is the second version. I just took it down from the 3D printer. It has a brim. And let me see if it moves without breaking it. It's a little bit hard, but the hinges should work freely. That's it. And it takes a little bit of strength, but it works and the hinges are fine. You see, uh, it comes as a one piece. The PCB goes right in place, it doesn't move around too much or at all. And then this piece also goes down here. Uh, there is it's hard to see but there is a groove here that it needs to be it needs to be this way so when it closes it down it pushes the PCB right into place let me clean the brim of the 3d print and I'll get back to you when it's finished okay so I cleaned the brim from all the sides, you can see the hinges are working just fine. As I said, this is uh, this is printed as one piece, and this is the second piece, and it comes here and it closes um, the stencil and then the PCB. So what I need to do now is figure out a way to cut the stencil correctly in the exact place um, yeah so the PCB will be somehow like this this will be flushed to that side uh, again I just need this roughly this will be somewhere like this because I can move it around and then let me mark right, roughly where the area is just to make sure yeah looks correct and as I said I need to cut it roughly around this area so we can have about uh, one centimeter. Yeah, 
one centimeter all around and then uh, I can cut it down so let me cut it down and come back to you as they always say it's better to measure twice and cut only once um, let's see how this fits so again there is a chamfer at the bottom here to push the PCB right in place and then this fits just like this oh, other way around Need to line them and it looks great. So now what I'll do, I'll remove the film that's on the Let me bolt this down with the M3 bolts and I'll come back to you before I close it down completely. Okay, so I tied it with uh, four bolts. Uh, I can barely move this, but it is important to move it uh, to, so it will be aligned exactly into place as it is right now. I'll finish bolting it down. Let me add uh, three more screws. Yeah, so that's it. So as you can see it closes and opens uh, the way it works uh, the M3 bolts you see they don't show up and they don't interfere you just place the PCB in the correct way it doesn't have to be all the way you close it down let me get some solder paste and I'll do this quickly Solder paste. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to click subscribe and the notification bell so you'll know exactly when I'm loading new videos. Thank you.